Hello and welcome to this Sibilac video in which we'll show you how to create and personalize your own tools in your SibTouch numerical control. For this example, we'll create a new punch. To do that, let's access the punch tool page by touching here. The punch currently being used is displayed. We would like to create a punch like this one. First thing to do is fill in the basic characteristics of our new punch, the angle and radius of its tip, its height and its resistance. To do that, we simply need to touch the desired characteristic and change its value. So, the height of our new punch is 160 mm, its radius is 2 mm, and its resistance is 175 tons per meter. On this first page, we can also define the mounting direction of our tool and whether it can withstand bottoming or not. Next, we can press this button to access this page. Here we will define the type and all the dimensions of our tool. First the type of punch, straight, normal or gooseneck. Ours is normal. The illustration on the right shows the tool resulting from the given dimension. As those dimensions remain from the previous tool, it can sometimes be a bit difficult to see which dimension goes where. In this case, simply touch the illustration to display the default image of the punch like this. Let's now enter the new values. They are either given by the manufacturer or directly measured on the tool. Please note that these dimensions are identical to those used on all of Sibilec's numerical controls. If your workshop uses other Sibilec NCs, you can simply copy the dimensions found in PC1200 or PC Mod Eva. Two more parameters are available. Safety access, which determines the security distance between the tool and the back gauge for x-axis, and x-correction, if the punch is not perfectly aligned. Our tool is now defined. You only need to save it to be able to use it. This is done by touching the tool name and selecting Save Punch As. Sibilac recommends using specific names for the tools in order to be able to identify them simply by their name. A convention is given in the user manual. Our little demonstration is now complete. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.